Hello everyone, so today I want to talk about the eight characteristics that Ukrainian women want to find in men. Now here's an issue that happens um, with a lot of Ukrainian women. They run into guys who maybe don't treat them right or hurtful, you know, disrespectful, unfaithful, abusive, or the relationship's just not working out. And as humans, we all want to be treated with dignity. We all want to be treated with respect. And if we can, have a nice long-term relationship. So for that reason, a lot of Ukrainian women are actually turning to Western men. Now, what do I mean by Western people like in Australia, Canada, and different Westernized countries? And they're looking at characteristics in these men and saying, hey, is this somebody I want to be with? Now, there's different characteristics that they're looking at. I'm going to touch on each one. There's actually eight of them and then talk about each one briefly. Especially with Elizabeth's, you know, just married dating agency, it's imperative that, you know, you look over these characteristics, understand what they are, and it's going to help you with your chats. So you can understand when you get on that Skype call, hey, I have these eight characteristics, I know what they are, I know what they're looking for, and I'm excited to start a family, I'm excited to, you know, have a long-term relationship, this is somebody I want to be with. So the first one, number one, is caring. A big thing that any woman wants, or that any partner wants, is for you to care about them. And that's the best feeling in the world to know that somebody else cares about you genuinely. They're not just trying to get something, they're not seeking attention, but they actually care. Even when it's not a relationship, when someone cares about you, asks you how your day is, asks you how you're doing, gives you a compliment, genuinely cares about you, that's the best feeling in the world. And that's the number one characteristic. I'd say even apart from dating and relationships, being caring is a great characteristic for anyone. As long as the person is showing you respect back, of course. Second one is responsible. Now, when we enter a relationship and in our day-to-day -day activities, being responsible is crucial. We want to make sure we're doing things on time. We want to make sure we're meeting deadlines. We want to make sure that we're able to take care of ourselves, number one priority, so that we can take care of someone else. See, a lot of issues that happen in relationships is that someone's not responsible for themselves or they're having trouble getting themselves together, and then they go to get into a relationship. Well, the issue is if you're having trouble with taking care of yourself, how are you going to be able to be responsible for someone else? So being responsible along with being caring are two huge, huge characteristics that are going to help and will serve you for the rest of your life. The third one is being positive, having a positive attitude. See. Nobody likes to have a negative person around. Nobody likes someone who's going to bring them down. Even people, when they're having a bad day, the ability to be positive is huge. Say if you get on the Skype chat and you're just talking, I don't like my boss, I don't like my family, I don't like my friends, I don't like my kids, I don't like this, I don't like that, and you're just saying everything that you don't like. Well, if you're going to look for a long-term relationship with this person, I'm looking at a long-term relationship. Why would I want to have it with someone who's going to be negative all the time? Who's going to put me down all the time? That's not to say that there isn't realistic criticism or that you can't point out something. But being positive is going to go huge. It's going to improve your attitude, your health, and your overall relationships. So there's no reason not to be positive. Number four is being family-oriented or being people-oriented. Now, why is this huge? Because if you're family-oriented, if you're people-oriented, that means you're in it for the long term. You care about what's going on, and you want to start a family. You're not just looking for a hookup. You're not just looking for a one-night fling. You're not just looking to casually date someone and then say, thanks, it's been great, see you later. If you're family-oriented, you actually care and you want to have that person in your life. And that's a good feeling. That also coincides with being caring, responsible, and positive, that you're a long-term goal person. 
with relationships and with other things. If you're family oriented, that's something that saying, hey, I want to settle down. I want to be responsible. I don't want to be unfaithful. I don't want to do other stuff. Uh, fifth one, huge one is being curious. Now, when we're dealing with other cultures, as I've talked about, a lot of people experience other cultures and they're not sure about things. Being curious is huge. Why is being curious huge? Because it shows that you're interested in, in, in her culture. It shows that you're interested in her way of life, things about Odessa, things about Ukraine, and just getting to know people. Being curious about culture is a great thing because you learn stuff. You learn about how other people live. You learn about how other people think. And you can kind of mesh your experiences with theirs. And sometimes you'll find out, hey, we're not all that different. Yeah, there's some cultural differences. There's some maybe, you know, differences on the surface, understandably. But at the end of the day, when we take our experiences and then we combine them with other people's emotions, we see how they work. We look at deep down and say, most of us all just want to have a good life, want to have good family and friends, want to see our children do well, want to see, you know, have the best for everybody. So that's a great thing is to be curious. Be curious in all aspects in life. It will serve you. Another one, interestingly enough, number six, this was one you may not think of, is being shy. Now, when you're shy, you're not super aggressive. That's actually not a bad characteristic. Some people might think, hey, wasn't shy a bad thing? And I would say no. When you're a little shy, when you're a little nervous, it shows that you care. It shows that you are responsible. It shows that, you know, there's part of you that's saying, hey, I'm trying to get to know someone, but I don't want to go too fast. Yes, you want to be a long-term person, a family-oriented guy or people-oriented guy. That will serve you. But you don't want to come off super aggressive. You don't want to necessarily suggest marriage on the first call. But you want to be a little, being a little shy doesn't hurt. Being a little shy actually will serve you. And it'll show that, hey, you know, you're kind of getting to know this person because they'll be a little shy as well. And then gradually you can break the ice and move forward. But that's not a bad characteristic. Number seven, is funny or outgoing? I just talked about being shy, which is, you know, funny in and of itself. It's a funny aspect. But if you have a little humor, if you like to have a good time, keep it clean, of course, at the beginning. And if you're outgoing, if you're not introverted, if you're extroverted, that's going to help a lot because that'll help you take the initiative. See, if you're so introverted, you don't want to get on camera and talk to her. It's going to be difficult. But when you're funny, you're outgoing, you have energy, you want to get it done, you want to you know, expand your horizons, see the world, experience new cultures, have a little bit of get up and go, as I would say. Be a go-getter. That's going to be a huge, huge selling point on you. Not just in, for women, honestly, but in life. If you're a go-getter, if you want to get things done, if you want to be outgoing, meet people, have fun experiences, live life. That's going to be a huge characteristic. Never turn down a good opportunity when it's there. Um, as the saying goes, you know, if someone gives you an opportunity, you don't know exactly how you'll do it. Say yes and then learn it later. That's kind of been my motto is just going out there, being outgoing, and that is a huge thing that is going to get uh, your the Ukrainian person, Ukrainian girl you're talking to excited. Last, not least, is serious about marriage. Now, when you're talking to her, you have all these great characteristics, caring, responsible, you're family-oriented, you're curious about what she's doing, maybe you're a little bit shy at the beginning, you know, you're, you're being funny, you're being outgoing, but what does it lead to? See, a lot of the issues are in today's culture, especially Western culture and other places, people are just looking for a hookup. People are just looking for a fling. People are just looking to party and do whatever it is. Now, that's fine, but the issue happens is certain people are not going to be oriented towards that. Certain people are going to want marriage and long-term relationships. When you show her that you're serious about marriage, that you care enough for her to not only have Skype chats, but to go meet her and to eventually get married, that's going to be huge. Because that's saying that not only am I you know, talking to you because I'm interested. I want to take this to the next level. 
I want to marry you. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Uh, it is a huge commitment, so make sure it's the right person, and you'll know, you'll kind of feel it. It's not something I can describe on camera, but that is a huge aspect. So those are the eight characteristics, being caring, being responsible, being a positive person, positive attitude, being family or people oriented. You want to get to, you know, have a family, you want to be able to talk to other people and be comfortable with them, being curious about, you know, culture and life, being a little bit shy, you know, because we all are. And then being funny or outgoing in the times when it's appropriate. And then finally, last but not least, be serious about marriage. So I hope these characteristics help, especially hope it helps with your Skype chats and just getting a little bit of background. And thank you so much for watching. I wish you the best of luck in life and with your relationships.